pro tip, if you don't have a spike to hold your tape measure in, use your car key. What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my corner of the internet and welcome to Charlie Barley Athletics Field. Quarantine restrictions have eased slightly in Australia, which means all the sports fields and athletics tracks are reopening again to the public. Still not quite training with the squad just because timing is not quite ideal at the moment, but it does mean that I can go out and train. Now, you may be thinking, why the hell is she rolling out a tape measure if she does race walking? Race walking will always be my sport, but my first love when it came to athletics was discus throw. And I started training again for discus around July last year and have kept it up since. So I'm out here to do some throw training. I was meant to come out yesterday, but uh, the rain was terrible. And I was actually meant to start training a few weeks ago, but I um, fractured my toe so couldn't quite get the shoes on. But that is healed. We have complete access to the field and the throwing circles. So I'm going to warm up and then I'm going to show you what I do through a throw session. Now I'm still relatively new to the sport and obviously with the coronavirus limiting how many people can actually train, I haven't been in person with my coaches for a while. So my technique may be a bit off still. But the whole plan for today is to just go out, get some decent throws in, get back into the rhythm, get back into the movement, and hopefully I'll be training with the rest of the squad soon. Warm-ups felt good, circles feeling good, feet are feeling good. We're going to move on to just some standing throws with the rubber disc, just to get the disc feeling good coming out of the fingers. And then I will move on to the metal disc and get some actual good throws in. All right, so we're going to switch out the rubber disc for the metal disc, get a few standing throws in with this one because even though they are both the same weight, they're both one kilo weight, obviously different material means different feel coming out of the fingers. So I just want to get used to the metal disc before I go into the half spins. The difference about training by yourself compared to with the squad is that you don't get as much rest between your sets. When you're training in a group, you take it in turns, you get maybe two, three throws, and then you've got a bit of a rest. Next two, three throws, a bit of a rest. Don't really have that by myself because um, I've only got one 
good quality discus with me. So I'm getting one throw in, having to walk out and retrieve it myself. And then as soon as I come back, I'm throwing again. So I'm going to take a quick rest now, just to kind of catch my breath, calm down a little bit before I get into the half spins. They're technically called South Africans. Don't know why they're called South Africans, but they are the spin movement that I do in the one competition I've done since I've started training again, simply because I haven't progressed far enough to a full spin. I was hoping to get onto that, learning the skill, learning the technique for that earlier this year, but of course, Corona happened, so it never came to fruition. Hopefully when I'm back training with my coaches and with the rest of the squads, probably take a few weeks to settle back in, making sure that my technique hasn't totally been screwed up, and then hopefully I will be able to start learning that. All right, the first five throws, well, four of the first five throws came out really, really nice. I'm happy with how they are. I did notice that through the circle, instead of heading straight down the middle, I was traveling a bit to the left. So I'm going to have to figure out how to realign that. So I'm traveling more down the center and not release the discus too early because doing that, I'm heading more to the right of the sector when I throw, not a nice straight throw down the center. So I'm going to work on that now, maybe do a few drills through the circle just to kind of realign my footwork where I'm meant to be stepping. Um, the distance has been Okay, I guess. I think I'm hitting around the 25 meter mark. I'm not entirely sure. I do have cones set out there marking out different intervals, but they are a very rough guide and I can't quite judge where the discus is landing, but my, I guess my personal best is around 2360, I think, which is what I threw in my comp earlier this year um i know i can throw further than that uh but it was my first comp in a while discus wise it had been close to maybe 10 years since i last competed in discus before that comp so it was a little bit nervous a little bit hesitant in the circle but with training and with practice i'm going to gain more confidence and i would like to be hitting the 30 meter mark by the end of the year. Don't know how well that is going to go, just of course with the current situation, um, not as well structured training sessions. Of course, I'm not getting full proper gym sessions in, so um, lacking the equipment to work on really sort of power based stuff. Our coaches are giving us fitness circuits to complete at home and we do have Zoom sessions. Um, a few times a week, which is good. So we're maintaining that sort of fitness and everything, but the strength work and the real sort of power work is lacking a little bit, but we're feeling good. We're feeling good. We're going to get a few more throws in and then probably call it a day just because it is a little bit chilly out um, and I don't want to be out too much longer. 
still gonna get working again. lost track of how many throws I had there towards the end but they were all feeling really good apart from one or two maybe where they just came off the fingers a bit wrong nothing serious but I'm going to leave it for there I don't want to overwork myself uh, only just starting back after close to two months of not throwing thanks quarantine and a broken toe but I'm happy with how today's session went. I'm going to send my coaches the clips that I've taken on my phone so I can get some feedback on those and also so I can have a look over myself and see how I looked in my opinion. Uh, but overall, I'm really happy with how that session went. So uh, if you'd like, feel free to subscribe, check out my Instagram and Twitter in the description and I will catch you all again next week.